stepping out of the shadow in my room. Caught between. Hello and welcome. If you're new here, I'm Celeste. I'm a Disney lover, annual pass holder, and I live in Central Florida, so that means I love going to the theme parks and sharing my adventures with you all. So if that's something you want to see, then just keep watching. So today I thought we would start off this vlog with a little fall haul and yes we still have six weeks of summer left but i think once fourth of july passes everyone is just really looking forward to the start of the holiday season which is autumn or fall so today we went to marshall's and we picked up a few little gifts for some friends and we also picked up some spooky finds super cute things so i'm excited to share that with you so i'm having a little pumpkin spice iced coffee and yes i mean little because it's almost 4 p.m and i would like to be able to sleep tonight and the coffee that i have is very strong so i figured why not put it in my cute little pumpkin mug because it's just the perfect size for a little afternoon treat. So first up, we are going to start with some gifts, which is not exclusively fall items, but there's also a really cute back to school gift in here. And Theo thinks that some of these things are for him, so that's why he's sniffing through everything. Lay down, Theo. Lay down. The bowl is So the first thing is this little jewelry set. It looks like a composition notebook. And it says, thank you for... And then you can write a little personalized gift. Note. A little personalized note. And it's for my coworker who's an art teacher so it has like a little crown earring set and then a little easel earring set and i think she's gonna really like these also her birthday is at the start of the school year so thought it would be the perfect gift Just a couple of gifts that i got are for some friends that have been hosting a small group through my church they've been so nice and so lovely and i think i found the perfect gifts for them so one of the girls she has been into line dancing recently and she wore the cutest red cowboy boots to our last group and i just thought this was very fitting because she also likes to write and she's a really good cook so if she's not writing her stories down in here she can be jotting down her recipes to share with the rest of us but i just thought it was perfect for her and it was only $5.99 but I just love this little detail as well. The last gift I got is for the two other girls. The last gift I got is for the two other girls that hosted the small group. And it's this candle because they always have had a bunch of candles making it super cozy. And I figured they could use another. But it's perfect because we've actually played pickleball together and have been trying to play pickleball together. So I found this candle that says Pickleball Social Club. And it smells really good. It's a nice neutral color and it was only $7.99. Gotta love it. it. Smells very good. And then I also got them some coffee beans because they've also made us coffee in our small group. So it's just these little personalized gifts that I thought would be great for them since they have taken the time and the energy to host us. And I just wanted to say thank you. Next, we're getting into the fall portion of our haul, which has to start with a good scented candle. So I was sniffing candles four hours in Marshalls, not hours, probably like 40 minutes, almost an hour, because there's so many scents and then there's so many cute designs for the candles. And I just love lighting the candle on a cozy night, especially during the holiday season. So I had to get a really good scent. And I got the DW Home Scent um, Apple Honey Butter. And again, it's a nice neutral candle and the scent is just enough fall without going overboard. 
and it smells really clean as well. Next candle I'm really excited about as well because it's a little bit more Halloween themed and it has a very cute lid with a witch's broom and a jack-o-lantern and it was also $7.99 um, it has 33 hours burn time, which I'm assuming the other one does too since they're the same size. But this is Spooky Spice by DW Home. I really like this brand, DW Home, um, and the Sand and Fog brand that I got for candles. Typically, I'll try to get Sand and Fog because I feel like they're a bit cleaner of a scent um, if you've researched their company. But DW Home has really good scents as well, so I'll also get these from time to time. And it has just enough hint of that cinnamon spice smell without going overboard, which if I have something that's too strongly scented, I'll tend to get a headache if I let it burn too long. So I try to pick something that's just enough of a subtle, cozy scent that just fills a home with all the good vibes. We have two more items on our haul. Um, the other thing that I have an issue with overbuying is mugs. I was gonna get two mugs today but I decided on getting two candles instead and one mug because we really don't have any more space in our mug cabinet but I couldn't resist. I've seen this mug a few times and it's a Disney Minnie Mouse bat and spider web um, and it's just a Disney mug and it was $6.99. Now I will say the other mug was a little bat in a ghost, or a little cat in a ghost costume and there were bats surrounding it and it was trick or treating which I thought was so cute and it was also a little bit cheaper. But I'm also very particular about my mugs being too big so I thought this was a better size and it's Disney and of course I'm a sucker for anything Disney so I picked that up today. And the last thing that I picked up was this ghost pillow. I really love ghosts and I really love bats for a Halloween. I don't know why I find them so cute, but I just had to have it when I saw it. But originally I did see this pillow in pink, like a blush pink, and I grabbed it at first. And then around the corner they had this color, which really goes well in our bedroom. So I switched the pink for this kind of mustard orange or mustard brown color. Um, and I think it's gonna go really well to add some subtle holiday touches to our bedroom. And this was the most expensive purchase today. It was $24.99. I already took off the tags though because I'm just ready to decorate. And speaking of decorating, I think that I'm going to decorate probably this week because my husband is away on a trip and sometimes I just like to get crazy and decorate for fall at the end of July. Anybody else? No, just me. Well, anyways, I just feel like the seasons are so short that I want to appreciate them for as long as possible while they're here. And truly, the months of August to December are my favorite time of the year. There's just something about the anticipation of the holidays, and I'm excited to decorate and for all the Disney adventures during the holiday season. So again, if that's something you like to see, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Milo agrees. Subscribe to follow along for the adventures.